Reformed Church. God desires and God has a way to take the wealth that the Gentiles seek and give it to you. That is the will of God for every single believer. Um, if you say, well, I'm not that kind of person. I, I have everything I need, right? Everything I need, right? It, that sounds real. Consider it real modest. I don't need to be wealthy. I have everything I need. That's the most selfish thing you could possibly ever do with your finances, is to say, yeah, no, I'm good. No, thanks, Pastor. I have everything I need. You know why? Because it's, it's as if you're wandering the earth with no purpose. That's what that says to me. That's what you think in your mind. I have no purpose whatsoever. I have nothing to contribute, no influence that I would like to gain on the earth. I'm good, Pastor Michael. That's what that means. It's the most selfish thing that you could possibly do with your finances. And listen, God loves you. This is why you need to hear me on this. The most selfish possible thing, because you know what I'm, I'm going to ask you? you can, we can cry and we can moan and we can complain about all the poverty in this world, all the things that need to happen in this world. And you know what? If you had the money for it, for someone that agrees with the right thing, with correct morality in this world, you could be doing that with your money. You know why? You know why those things? You know why godly things can't happen more frequently? Things that cost money, right? Digging wells, reducing poverty, getting the gospel out, printing books, all that. You know why that can't happen for a lot of believers? Because they've rejected the influence that God wants to give them on the earth, which is, it, which requires wealth. The rich rule over the poor, that is a principle that God, your God, not me, your God, says in the book of Proverbs. Your God said that, the rich rule over the poor. In your Bible, it says that. The, no, I'm good, I'm good, Pastor Mike. That, 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 is, that, is, that tells me you think you're just not doing anything here. Do you have anything to give to, 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 to the world? Anything to say? You, you, would you consider ever having a platform, perhaps? Not necessarily always in a teaching, you know, teaching platform. Ever consider having enough influence to actually have a platform to be able to speak that to somebody else, to have enough money to actually give? Because when you say, oh, I'm good, okay, what are you giving? What are you giving then? If you're just good, you, you and your four, right? You and your four, I got enough, Pastor Mike. I'm not, I'm not that wealth kind of person. Well, you're not the influence kind of person then. That, that's just the way it is. That's what wealth does. The rich rule over the poor. That means you don't want to reign on the earth, even though the Bible said that God wants you to reign because you're the one that has his life. You're the one that has his power in his life. If you don't reign, you know who's going to do it? The rich people of this world are going to do it. If you don't do it, that, they're going to take it. And currently, right now, I would venture to say that most wealthy and influential people that are doing things in media, that are doing things in all these different, you know, in different corporations, are people that hate God. You, would you want to live in a world where you're the one that has the money to do things in this world, or would you rather give that money to the Gentiles who are going to use it in a way that contradicts the knowledge of Jesus? Because just so you know, it's to do, it's because of a lot of this that actually the last days are going to be the way they are. It's because the people of influence, the people that have the money to do these various different things, are the ones that are anti-Christ. Despite the fact that there, were, there, are, there will always, until Jesus comes back, there will always be people that are going to be anti-Christ. But if they're not the ones with the influence, then it just doesn't matter. What would it be like if you had a 50-50 world where half are anti-Christ and half are for Christ? But the half that are for Christ know what they're talking about and receive, at least just believe. I'm not asking you to, 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 to do a work. I'm asking you to believe something. I'm asking you to believe it. I mean really believe it in your mind. Yep, that's mine. I believe that and I receive that, Lord. That's, I'm just asking you to do something in your mind. I'm not saying, I'm not condemning you for not making more money. If I compared my income to yours, I'm, it, it, my income is a pretty sorry income to a lot, of, a lot of people, but I believe it, though. You see what I'm saying? So I'm being obedient. I believe it, though. I'm asking you to believe something. I'm not asking you to do something. I'm asking you to believe something. If you believe it right, your, your doing is going to change. It'll change automatically. I'm asking you to believe something. But when you say, nah, I'm good, let the Gentiles have it. Let the ungodly have it. That's, that's why we live in a world we live in because of that mentality right there. We live in a world in which all of our higher-ups are ungodly men and women, to be politically correct. We live in a world we live in today because Christians reject the influence that God is trying to give them in this world. It's not about the money. I understand that's why we say that at first. I know I'm good because we think I'm, what I'm saying is like it's about the money because money's awesome. Money is unrighteous mammon. I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about what God wants to use that money for. What are you giving? What are you giving? What are you giving? You don't, what, you, don't, you don't think there are people to give to? That you would maybe need more wealth to do that? That's why I'm saying it's selfish, because we think about our four and no more. That's, that, so we, as long as we, I, I, I'm just barely getting by, my bills are paid, and I have a little bit for vacation, uh, then I'm good. If you want to live that, 
that you know you can go on your vacation and other people can starve and other people can not ha have the gospel, but because we're rejecting that influence, we leave it all up to our higher-ups in this world who don't know Jesus, couldn't care less about him, are actually pushing agendas that are completely anti-Christ. And a large, I mean a large portion of that is because they've got the, the cash to do it. God wants you to reign. God wants you to reign. It is not good enough for me to have all the higher-ups in this world, have all the money and all the power and all the influence. And because I'm, oh, I'm okay, I'm just me and my four. I'm just good. As long as I have enough to pay for my Netflix subscription, then I'm okay. No, no, I want something to give to somebody. I want money to be able to promote the gospel in a real way. You know what I can do? Listen, man, I, I could go to, to so many examples, but you know what a ministry can do when they have backing with, with enough wealth to be able to, like I said, print books, get resources out, fly to other countries and be missionary? It's amazing. So even some of these missionaries that will go door, door to door asking for money reject the power to wealth. It's like I'll ask you for it. And I'll come to your church and I'll say, I'm a missionary, I need to go to Africa, I don't got nothing, I'm a broke missionary, and they make jokes about it, and then they reject the power to wealth. So I'll ask you for it, but I won't ask God for it. Because you're my savior when it comes to wealth, but oh, it's, it's somehow evil when I ask God for it. You need it one way or another, personally, and God needs it to get his, his word out in this world. I'll take the influence, thank you. I'll take the influence, thank you. If you don't want it, give it to me, and I'll use it for the kingdom of God. There's a reason for it, it's not about the money. I'll use it for the kingdom of God. And guess what? Like I said, it ain't about my income. It ain't like something like I'm talking about my income right now. I, I, I'm talking about what I believe and what I know that many of us believe as well. The, 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 the no thank you thing is because you're, you're not seeing the big picture here. You're just seeing you and your four and just skating by until Jesus comes back and not really doing much with your finances. There's a lot of people you can tell about Jesus and a lot of influence you can have in other, in other arenas. But wealth is one of those arenas that takes what you're doing and fuels it to be able to make it bigger and more profound. That, that's a fact. People rejoice when the righteous reign. And part of that reigning, not all of it, but part of that reigning that God's trying to uh, get across to us is empowering us to the wealth of the Gentiles. And this is a real thing that he'll be doing even off into the new earth. They'll still be bringing us their wealth, even there, because we have the power to wealth through Jesus Christ. It's part of what he died to give you. God forbid we'd ever reject something and make it in vain, which something Jesus bled and died to give us. Not me. I'm not, I'm not, sign me up, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's, I'm, not, I don't, I don't, I'm not playing with that. You did something for me, I want it. I want to see it in my life. I'm going to manifest that in my life. And you know, you can take a lot of heat and a lot of criticism for that too. Power to Wealth is probably my least popular uh, 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 series that I'll probably ever do. <laughs> uh, but I don't care. G Jesus, Jesus likes it. If Jesus is the only one clapping, then, then that, that's, that's good enough for me. We hope you enjoyed this message from Reform Church. If you have, please share this with someone else and help us get this uncommon truth out to the world. If you'd like to support this good news, you can do so at reformchurch.com give. Also on our website, you can take advantage of our free messages, articles, and even full discipleship courses. Start reforming your mind now at reformchurch.com.